Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about welding with batteries if you get stuck in a remote area and have something break on your trailer. Um, things that I carry as extras when I'm going away remote will be a welding glass and a little small handful of welding rods just to get myself out of trouble. Things that I'll be carrying anyway, anywhere I go, will be jumper leads um, and vice grips, an essential tool in the car. Alrighty, um, now to get started we're going to need to make ourselves a welding helmet, a safe welding helmet. So uh, we can do that with a cereal box, a stick and a bit of sticky tape. So I'll get that all underway and we'll start making that up now. Okay, to make up a, a helmet out of a cereal box, we're just going to simply cut. You might not have scissors, but a knife will do the same. We just want to cut, put that in there. Scratched a little square in there. We'll just cut on the inside of those scratch lines. So we've got a little window, sticky tape for that. So there we have it. We've got a, a mask we can look through. You can either just hold that like that or we can put a handle on it. There we have it, a handle and a helmet that we can safely weld through. Okay, just firstly a little bit about safety. Um, this is not good for your batteries. This is uh, a last resort option. It's just simply to show you how you can get out of trouble with things that you probably have close and at hand when you're away with a group of people traveling in a remote area. Um, so definitely don't use lithium ion batteries. Only use lead acid or um, AGM batteries. Take the batteries out of the car, out of the boat, out of the camper in a clear area to do this. Um, we don't want any damage happening to any of the other components on your trailer due to this because it creates a, a dead short. Um, and always sort of do it, don't do it in a, a grassy area, do it in an open sort of a dirty dirt area, exposed area. We don't want to start any bushfires. But we need, um, you can do it with two, but three will give you a much better weld. Um, and usually if you're traveling in a group, you've got more than one set of jumper leads, but if you don't, this is a way of connecting the batteries. We've got to connect the three batteries in series to make 36 volts. So we can simply connect. Connect the batteries positive to negative, positive to negative, use the positive on that end, negative on that end, that'll give us our 36 volts. So in series we're connecting this. Okay, 
if you are lucky enough to be in a group with extra um, sets of jumper leads, you can just simply use the jumper leads to series up the, the batteries. Now we're ready, ready to grab a welding rod, a couple bits of steel, and we will just show you how to weld. Um, it'll burn a pretty good weld, but if you just tap it, do a big tack, let it go, tap it, do a big tap, let it go, it allows your batteries and your leads to cool down. Okay, so I've got a couple bits of steel here. We're just gonna just buy script it so we can just burn a little weld along there. Connect our negative lead. Just be a little bit away from the batteries as you're doing this. I've put a, a rod into here, into the um, positive lead. And we've got our makeshift helmet, which I prepared earlier. So now we are ready to weld. As you can see, fairly good penetration, even enough to blow a hole in that bit of steel there. So, uh, so just by carrying a simple little welding glass and a small packet of rods, in addition to jumper leads and vice grips that you'll already have, and there could be batteries scattered amongst your camp, um, this could possibly get you out of trouble one day. Happy trails. <laughs> what do you call this? Job well done? <laughs>